Hi, Malikana. What exactly characterized the two-day spot check tours you conducted with the Ministry of Water Development, Sanitation and Environmental Protection? Hi, Talu. Now, while we were in Chilanga, we visited various areas such as Game and Sangalala area. And something that was noted yesterday that we did report in our news was the water cancellation, the water bill cancellation in Chilanga. Now, residents had been having erratic water supply and were still billed by the, by the Lusaka Water and Sewerage Company. And now the minister did announce yesterday that their bills were cancelled because it did not make sense to him that these people were billed even when they did not have water. We also visited various various areas such as Malombwe and uh, you did see this in our news now we did see water being contaminated by fecal matter in this area now something that was noted as well was that this could pose as a health threat as various diseases such as typhoid and cholera could break out in that area and now another thing that was noted when we visited game and Sangalala area in Chilanga was lunch encroachment by some residents there now we did visit Baoleni as well where some residents there faced some various water Water challenges such as having a hand pump that produced dirty water and now we were also with Lusaka water and sanitation company as well as the member of parliament there that is the member of parliament there that is honorable Margaret Manakatwe now she did make mention that the government will ensure that during this period they provide clean water as well as boreholes in the area now, Talu, we visited another area as well. Today we were in Chilanga. Now, whilst we were in Chilanga, we did go to the modular plant. And it is very saddening that the government did pay contractors on time. There have been many issues in the country with regards to local contractors being given a chance to be able to have these contracts on various projects. Now, Zambezi Drilling Exploration Limited was granted this chance by the ministry to ensure that they finish this project. And now it's very saddening, and uh, Lusaka Water, as well as the area member of parliament there, did express disappointment with how long this has taken. So many residents there have complained as they rely on this dam. And now it's quite saddening to note that they have been given this chance and they didn't take advantage of this opportunity. And now something that can be noted as well that the minister said is that he's very concerned because with an outcry that has been there by the local contractors, now they have been given this chance and still they are not doing their part and um, just being there to to finish this project on time. Malikana, sorry to, to cut mm. you there. So you were in Chongwe today? Yes, I was. So what exactly is the issue with water in Chongwe? Is it that it's dirty? It's um, uh, Or is there, is there no water actually? Are they having problems with having water reach their homes? Okay, now the Chongwe River, which is um, also close, very close to the dam there, is quite dry. Now, if you, our, our viewers who did watch the last report that I did um, just before this crossover, it was quite dry, and it's because of that. There's also a transmission line in Chongwe. It's 27 kilometers there that has not yet been completed. And so inspections were being carried out just to ensure that residents do not have erratic water supply. All right. Um, anything else you'd like to add on your visit? Something else that I did note, um, the minister is, is very keen and also wants to see a change with the way that the country is experiencing water challenges. He's also going to visit Western Province on Saturday just to be able to appreciate the things that are going on in the country with regards to water. And he has told us that he will ensure that the water challenges in the country are dealt with. And now today, something else that was um, I found very interesting, and that is good for our people in a village, in Tanisha village where we visited, 10 boho's and hand pumps were put up today just to assist them and to help the community as they, were they, were, they have been facing various water challenges. All right, thank you so much for your time, Malikana. Thanks, Talun.